In today's video, we're going to be comparing iRyan and Video Ninja for bringing in your phone's image or your phone's camera into OBS for live streaming or recording content. So I know both applications, you know, do almost the same thing, but they have differences and a lot of similarities. And you may be wondering which one is right for you. So this video hopefully is going to answer that question. So let's get started. By the way, my name is Sam. You're watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be wired versus wireless. Both applications can actually do wired and wireless. In fact, right now you're looking at my Android phone and it's connected wired to OBS. So as you can see here, this is it right in OBS here and it's using a USB cable, right? Which is pretty cool. That's iRyan, right? And I had my phone as well connected using iRyan, but it's connected via wireless. So when it comes to wired versus wireless, I think iRyan is perfect. It works well, no problem. Either way, you're gonna be happy with the results. And for Video Ninja, yo, you could do wired, when it comes to wired, you could do wired, but the problem is you can't use the USB cable. You have to use an ethernet cable and you're going to need to buy an adapter that looks like this. Basically it's an ethernet adapter. This is when you want to connect the video ninja to OBS via a cable. All right. So this is it. This is what it's going to look like. And then eventually you can just take any ethernet cable, right? So I have an ethernet cable right here. And I can go here and connect to my phone, no problem. And this is the wired way that you're going to be able to connect your phone using Video Ninja. Now, this is going to work. Obviously, I'm not going to go into it. I have a video that I made showing you how to do it. If you're interested, let me know. I will link it down below. But it's going to work. It's also going to give you a stable connection, you know, same as USB. But the good thing about the wired way with Video Ninja is the fact that it's using like local network. So as long as you are on the same network, you're going to be able to connect Video Ninja to your computer, no problem. Yeah, and, and you can, like, if you have an Ethernet switch, you can even use, like, 100 feet, 200 feet, maybe. While for using wired on iRyan, it's only USB cables. A USB cable can go maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 feet max. So you're going to be limited in terms of distance. Again, maybe you don't need 20, 30, 40 feet of distance between your camera and your computer but if there's something that you need at least you know the video ninja you just need an adapter and an ethernet connection usb doesn't work all right but that's that now when it comes to wireless obviously with iRyan it's gonna use just same wi-fi same internet connection that's why you need so you can go around so even right now with my iphone you can see i can just go ahead and open the application and if i go to obs this is i ryan this is not video ninja but you can see that it's easy i'm running it wirelessly and the android phone is running wired with the usb and you know it works no problem okay so it's local network kind of wi-fi be on the same wi-fi works no problem now for video ninja it does not depend on being on the same wi-fi or anything because video ninja has an application but it also has a web kind of based uh, link that you can use. So basically that allows you to be wireless locally, but also be wireless kind of like internationally, right? So someone could be in the US and I'm in Canada or someone could be in the Europe and I'm in Canada or in the US and they, they're going to be able to send me a signal wirelessly into OBS, which is crazy. And it's actually good. And, and if I'm local, if we are in the same studio using the same Wi-Fi, whatever, I'm still going to be able to get that signal as well. So that's the beauty of Video Ninja. While for iRyan, it's just it has to be on the same network, like locally. So you're kind of limited in terms of like, you know, local versus kind of international kind of thing. So if that's what you need, then you know that the Video Ninja is going to be your friend. If you need to be, you know, add the camera from anywhere, basically. Right. So that's cool for like remote productions, things like that. Obviously, you want to make sure you have good internet connection and how you do it. You just go to video video that ninja. Right. And then you create a room and then what you do, you can, you know, name it whatever you want just call it test password no need for password for now but you can create a password and then go to video codec choose h264 and then enter a room as a control director so basically you create your room and get yourself a link here copy the link 
all right? And then you send it to yourself so you can, you know, send it via WhatsApp or anything or to someone that you want them to be sending you the feed. So once you get the link out to your phone, okay, and you're just gonna go to your phone ready and then choose join room with camera, okay? And then hit okay. And then it's gonna ask you to give access to the camera and everything. You're gonna choose which camera you wanna show. So if you wanna use the back camera, you can just choose that or the front camera. And then you choose the microphone and then hit start, all right? Now this is using a web browser. And as you can see now, I have a signal coming from Video Ninja and I can actually flip the camera anytime I want. And then if I go here, as you can see, I have a signal right here. Again, you can go to video settings, maybe because sometimes Video Ninja is gonna send you a 720p video. So you can change it to 1080 and then with 1920 in here in settings. And then you can copy the solo link and go to OBS. And then we can add a new scene. Let's say call it Ninja and then go to the plus sign and then we're gonna call uh, the new browser source and then say ninja feed all right and then we're gonna add the link that we just got from video ninja with we're gonna call it 1920 uh sorry yeah 1920 by 1080 check control audio via obs and then click ok so as you can see now the video is showing no problem and can do whatever i want on phone right so this is a video ninja now this phone if you have was somewhere in the you know i don't know 200 300 miles away as long as i have internet connection i will still show up in here no problem now the next thing we're gonna compare is the number of cameras you can actually add to obs using both methods now when it comes to iRyan, you can add up to four cameras or four phones to obs and that's pretty awesome so it could be wired wireless it doesn't matter but the maximum you can add it would be four cameras now when it comes to video ninja you can add i would say unlimited because they are actually you know internet based there's no application but this is a video ninja application but it doesn't work that well so i prefer to use the browser so everything is browser based and you can add as many cameras as you want uh, or as many phones as you want so that's the beauty of video ninja either wired using the ethernet cable connected to your phone or wireless i mean like you know just using your network depending on where you are right so that's that now the next point obviously we already talked about is like local versus international so you know i ryan application is gonna be kind of limited in terms of like being local same network usb close to your main computer while video ninja can do local close to your computer everything that we mentioned above i ryan but you can also use it internationally being like anywhere in the world as long as you have access to internet connection you're gonna be good so when it comes to controls the iRyan application has a few controls but basically to get access to things like you know white balance iso just controlling your camera in general you're gonna need to upgrade to the pro version i think it costs like nine dollars it's not expensive it's, it's a one-time payment kind of thing it's gonna give you more controls to control your iso shutter speed and things like that but most people to be honest they don't need it the only thing that i think is super useful is maybe being able to control your white balance just to be able to match other cameras especially if you're doing like a multi-camera production that's awesome now when it comes to video ninja uh the browser i mean the application doesn't work well unless steve fixed it but the other time that i tried it doesn't work well so with the browser, it just has basic stuff. You can control things like white balance. You don't really have access to the camera. It's more like the browser is just gonna grab whatever the camera gives to it. And you know, things like resolution, things like that. You're gonna have to control that via Video Ninja Room. As you can see here in the room, you have settings to change, you know, things like frame rate to, you know, change your audio settings. Like you have so many things that you can change, but you can't really adjust the camera settings per se, right? It's just more like the video settings of your video. And I don't think you can do 4K with iRyan. You can do locally 4K, full HD in 2K, I believe, whatever. But for Video Ninja, I don't think you can do 4K, which I think would be ridiculous. Anyways, why would you send 4K video over a network? But yeah, maybe some people who have the bandwidth could do it. 
But even locally, I don't think you can do 4K. You can do some manual settings by changing the links and adding there's some customization that you can do here to make the video better. But overall, it's kind of complicated. The you know Video Ninja interface was built to do more stuff than just sending a camera to OBS. So if you are into like things like conferencing, bringing in guests and things like that, Obviously, Video Ninja is going to be awesome for that. But when it comes to controlling your camera, having a little bit of control, I think iRyan application is going to be a little more suited for that. So that's that. And the next point, of course, I want to talk about is the uh, ecosystem. I mean, uh, Video Ninja is not just, it's not going to allow you to just bring in a video feed from your phone. It can also allow you to bring in guests and do other cool stuff, really, you know, say share your screen, do reaction videos. It's just a full kind of built suite. And when it comes to, you know, iRyan, it's just an application that's made specifically for bringing in guests into OBS. So that's why iRyan may seem to be the best, you know, when it comes to just bringing the camera into OBS and actually doing it locally. Now, when it comes to the application itself, that's another point that I wanted to talk about. Video Ninja that we are using right now is actually a browser. It's not an application, which could be a good thing because now it allows us to just do some cool stuff. Everything through a browser, I can adjust my links. I have more freedom because it's browser based, right? But also like it depends on the internet connection and all the stuff that have to do with you know you know internet connection bandwidth and stuff like that while for i ryan it's an application it's gonna be local and it's a good application simple easy to use obviously you have to download it on your phone and you have to download it on your computer which becomes a little to be looked to a little too much but it's clean and it's fast forward video ninja you don't have an application to download again the application is there but it's not very functional so the uh, browser way that we are using yes you have to go open a room send the link and it could become a little complicated but it also opens up more possibilities again for being able to have a camera feed coming into obs from anywhere either locally or internationally which is cool so I don't want to say one is better than the other. I think this is going to depend on your use case scenario. Either way, either use Video Ninja or iRyan. I think both are going to work. If you are into video conferencing or adding cameras from far away, not doing things locally, I think Video Ninja is going to be the best. When it comes to doing things locally on your local network and you don't need like longer distances, I think iRyan is going to be the best. But again, either way, I think you'll be happy with the results but yeah but like i have to agree like having to deal with a browser on your phone could be a little no too much especially if you're doing things locally so the choice is yours if you ask me myself who actually when i'm doing things locally on my computer i prefer iRyan and if i have to bring in some cameras when i'm doing remote productions and i want to add an extra camera or i just want to do something a little quick or i'm already working with the video ninja with, you know, have guests in and everything. My OBS scenes are already like include Video Ninja stuff that have to do with like screen sharing and bringing in guests. Then I'll go toward Video Ninja because I'm already into the uh, ecosystem. So that's for me. All right. By the way, with Video Ninja, you can also create reusable links, which is cool. So you can have like one or two links. That you can send to your people like whoever is going to be sending you cameras and anytime they open the application or they open those links the feed is going to show up automatically in obs so you don't have to always go back to your video ninja room and try to copy the links and bring them into obs every time you try to bring in someone or bring in a camera so that's that uh let me know which one you are actually using and which one you think is better but other than that guys either use iRyan or video ninja they're pretty cool however there's something that you need to consider because when bringing in these cameras uh, you also need some good audio and since you're using your phones you don't want to be using the built-in microphones because sometimes they don't sound that good so to be able to capture your audio and actually bringing it into obs could be a little complicated and that's why in my next video i'm going to show you how to do exactly that so you can nail your video coming from your either Video Ninja or iRyan and nail your audio as well to make sure you actually sound good. So the video is going to be linked right here. Make sure you check it out and I'll see you there, guys. Take care.